Hello everyone, today I am going to explain the solution to the code forces problem less or equal which is 977C. So let me ex explain the question first. You are given a sequence of integers of length n and an integer k. You have to find uh, an integer x in the range 1 to 10 raised to 9 such that k elements in the given sequence are less than or equal to x. Let me give an example and explain it to you. So here we are given two, we input two integers, 7 is n and 4 is k. We input an array of the length 7 which is the length of the array. We have 7 elements and we need to find an, a number such that four, exactly 4 elements of this array are less than or equal to that number. So we here the output is 6 because 4 elements which is 1, 3, a 3 again and a 5 are exactly less than or equal to this number which is 6. We can also output 5 which, uh, which has the same effect. We have 1, 3, 3 and 5. 5 is equal to 5. So that is also there. In the next, in the next case 7 and 2 the same same number of elements but the k is different we need to find an element such that two elements are less than or equal to that number so if we check the first element is 1 the second element is 3 the third element is also 3 so we, we cannot find an, such an element because if we output 3 3 elements will be less than or equal to that number if we element 2 only one number will be less than or equal to that number so it is not possible so if something is if it is not possible we have to output minus 1 so that is the question now let me explain my solution first we initialize n and k input both n and k and then we initialize an array of length n we input the array as well then we sort the array at first I used selection sort but it showed time limit exceeded because it's uh, time complexity is big of n square so I used mode sort which has a much less time complexity of uh, big of n log n so let me explain mode sort first first we pass the array the left index and the right index to the function and then we check if the left index is less than the right index if it is then we check and then we calculate the middle index which is l plus r by 2 then we basically split the array into two and call it separately with merge sort so basically we are using a recursive function here so we pass the array the left index and the right index here the right index is the middle element and then for the next array next function call we used m plus 1 which is from the middle element the, the next index of the middle element to the right index so we are split basically splitting the array and this function will be called and will be called until uh, l is equal to r so which is when the length of the array is 1 so we continue to do call these functions until we split the big array into small small pieces of one one array each so then if when it becomes one and one array, one size one element size then we merge the array we merge the two one size arrays the left index the middle index and the right index we have all those and then we call the merge function in the merge function we calculate we first initialize two arrays with the left with the left part of the array and the right part of the array so we are doing this here we initialize the array with with the values and then we merge merge the array we first initialize i equal to 0 j equal to 0 and k is equal to l i is the loop variable for the first array j is the loop variable for the second array and k is the loop variable for the sorter array for the main array which will start from l which is the beginning index as you can see here int l so first we check if both the loop variables are less than the loop length the length of the array 
and the condition we check is if the element in the first array is less than the element in the second array and if it is we input that and increment loop variable else we in insert the second second array sec the element in the second array and increment the loop variable and we do and we increment the loop variable of the main array as well we do this until any one of this condition is false which means one of the array is exhausted so we input the rest of the elements in the other array which this will satisfy which any of this will do so outing the array we need to check certain conditions to print our output first we check if k equal to equal to 0 which means the no elements in the array are less than or equal to the output which we print which means that the output which we print should be less than all the elements in the array so for that we need to check the first element the first element is the least element because the array is sorted in the ascending order and we check if it is greater than 1 we need to check that because the output should be in the range 1 to 10 raised to 9 so if the first element is 1 we can't print a number which is less than 1 so we check if it is greater than 1 if it is greater than 1 we can print uh, the first element minus 1 which will be our output else it is not possible so we print minus 1 the next condition which we need to check is if the array length is 1 if the array length is 1 we check as before if the first element is 0 and if it is greater than 1 and if it is we print the same element it is we print the same element and else it is not possible at all so we print minus 1 for the next condition we check if n equal to equal to k that is if the length of the array equal to k that means all the elements in the array should be less than or equal to that number which means we can print the last element which will be k minus 1 k is in here we can just put n minus 1 it is the same so if we output the last element which means last element is the largest element which means all the elements in the array are less than or equal to that number we can output ARR k minus 1 plus 1 plus 3 etc it is your choice but this is the main thing and the thing to remember is we have to return here because if this condition is met we don't need to check all these conditions because the output is already printed so return zero, so return from here return from here and return from here and the final condition we check is if all these conditions are not met we check if ARR of k and ARR of k minus 1 the difference between them is less than 1 that is the condition is that condition is for this the example of the of that is this here the first element will be 1 the second element will be 3 and the third element will be 3 here we need to we here k is 2 so we can't as we discussed before we can't print an output because 3 and 3 are the second and third elements we can't print a num number so that two only two elements are less than or equal to that number it is because the difference between the second and the th second and the third element is zero which is less than one that means we can't print an output which is that because it is impossible so we print minus one else if that is not the case we print error of k minus one which is our output so basically that is this is my solution. Thank you for listening.